Hey folks, Mr Mitchell here. This is the first in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the higher physics exam. We're going to start by looking at the definitions from the introduction topic, also known as the uncertainties topic, and I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions by writing down the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get into it. Firstly, we have scale reading uncertainty. This gives an indication of how precisely a scale on a measuring instrument can be read. And remember, it depends on the type of scale used, whether it's analogue or digital. So you should know that analogue scales have a scale reading uncertainty of plus or minus half the smallest scale division, whereas digital scales have a scale reading uncertainty of plus or minus one of the least significant digit. Next we have the mean, and the mean is the best estimate of the true value of the quantity being measured. Remember you can find the mean or the average of a set of measurements by adding them all up and dividing by how many there are. Moving on we have random uncertainty, and random uncertainty arises when measurements are repeated and slight variations occur. Random uncertainty may be reduced by increasing the number of repeated measurements. Remember you've got a relationship on the relationship sheet in the exam for random uncertainty where you take the maximum reading from a set of results and subtract the minimum reading from the set of results and divide it by the total number of readings. Lastly we have systematic uncertainty and this occurs when readings taken are either all too small or all too large. This can arise due to faulty measurement techniques or experimental design. And remember systematic uncertainty can be shown on a graph where you've got a straight line where it should be through the origin but it's actually been offset from the origin. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.